Good morning, you guys. Happy October 3rd. It is Tuesday and it's almost 8 a.m. and I am just getting ready to head to work. I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. Maybe that can be part of my Vlogtober just because a lot of it will be me going to work and stuff so it can get a little monotonous. So I figured I would show you my kind of business casual outfit of the day. All right, guys. So this shirt it's like a long sleeve shirt it's like a heather blue i got from j crew these pants um i got they're a dark blue they are from old navy these shoes i picked up recently from target i absolutely love them they're like a um a, a heel wedge and they are so comfortable. They're black, they're kind of suede, so they go with anything and they're just perfect for the office. Of course, I have my Michael Kors watch on because I wear that like every day. And then um, I just did a wash and go on my hair today and then I have this, whoop, then I have this uh, necklace that I got from Forever 21 when Charity was in town. So yeah, guys, that is my outfit of the day. Headed to work now. What's up, guys? <laughs> So it is about a quarter to one and I'm just sitting in my car, it's my lunch break and I just like to step out of the office, I think I've mentioned that before. I like to like step away from the office and kind of come outside, you know, take a breath of fresh air and just, I don't know, relax for a little bit. Uh, it's really important to me if I don't have like um, patients that are running into my lunch break that I actually take my lunch break and like um, go outside and go for a walk or whatever anyway so that's what I'm doing just sitting here watching the rain it's a bit of a rainy day here in Chicago um, so yeah that is what I am doing uh, so you guys I was gonna ask you I am struggling on what to do next with my hair right now it's a wash and go and I'm really liking this uh, wash and go uh, I've been using um, what is it oh, man design essentials curl deep moisturizing curl souffle in addition with the Eden Body Works curl pudding and then I, in the shower, I use, I just got this new conditioner from Sally's. It's um, the generic version of the Nexus Humectant Conditioner. Hopefully I'm saying that right. When I get home, I'll try to show you guys the bottle, but it's the generic version. You know how Sally's has like their generic or compare to the brand name version of things and I absolutely love that combination it's been really really giving me a nice um, kind of defined twist out of course I get a lot of shrinkage but that doesn't bother me too much um, but I am just trying to think of what I want my next hairstyle to be um, I do have some braiding hair and, and I was thinking of getting Senegalese twist, twists again. Um, I'm just not sure if I want to do the color. The color is kind of um, a little bit funky. It's like black to navy to gray, which I think would be really fun, but I'm just not sure if I want to do that right now. And then I was also thinking about doing like a sew-in, a straight kind of sew-in and you know doing the whole straight hair for a little bit. Um, yeah or sometimes I'm just like let me just do twist outs on my natural hair. I don't know. So I wanted to open it up to you guys. I am open to suggestions so leave in the comment section below some cool hairstyles um, you think would look good on me because I am looking for a bit of a change. Not that I don't like my natural like kind of wash and go. It's very, very easy. It's like no muss, no fuss um, hair. So um, I do like that. I want to get any kind of any kind of protective hairstyle that I get. Um, I'm doing it for the convenience of it too. I want it to look good, but also like be very low maintenance because I don't do a whole lot to my hair. So yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys that. 
<sighs> I'm just going to take my last 10 minutes and just kind of relax and do some deep breathing exercises, try to clear my mind and get ready for the second half of the day. Let's go. What's up guys? So um, I am just at Peaks right across the street from work and I'm getting a few groceries. I think I'm gonna make another soup. This one is gonna be a tomato basil with poblano pepper soup and I wanna get some juices. They have a good selection of like uh, pressed juices I think. Actually this was the one I was gonna go for. Just carrot juice, apple juice, lemon. Oh, this has vanilla bean. Celery juice, apple juice, romaine lettuce, cucumber juice, orange juice, spinach juice, lemon juice, wheatgrass, kale juice, and spearmint oil. So I think I'm gonna get a couple of these um, naked pressed juices for the week. tomato basil but they didn't have any basil at Pete's market so I decided to make a tomato and poblano pepper soup um, I'm gonna put some uh, scallions in it as well and then these are the stocks that I'm gonna use the I got two chicken one vegetable they're both like um, what is it no salt added and uh, no MSG in either of these so yeah, I'm excited. I've been really into making soups lately, so I'll be curious to see how this turns out. One other thing I didn't show you that I'm gonna use in the soup is this uh, organic coconut milk. This is so just that I'm not making like a tomato, like a bolognese or like a pizza sauce. This will kind of make it more of like that soup, oops, soup flavor. So this is the unsweetened vanilla, and then I'm also going to add this ghee, which is clarified butter. So yeah, these are all the ingredients I'm going to use for my soup. I wanted to just show you guys the shoes that I was doing in my outfit the other day this morning. When I was looking at the footage, I realized um, that it wasn't showing my feet. So sorry about that, but these are the shoes. Um, like I said, they're just like a wedge heel and uh, they're very, very comfortable. They're actually a little bit big. You can see my heel slides out quite a bit, but they're very, very comfortable. Black, kind of suede, um, perfect for the office. I've worn these um, about three times to work so far and they've been really, really comfortable. My feet don't hurt really at the end of the day or anything like that. So these were a great find I told you guys I would show you the conditioner that I got from Sally's like I said it's the generic um, version of Nexus Humectris it's one of the compare to type of products from Sally's and it's huge it is one liter I got this for like $11 at Sally's and then they had a deal where if you bought a liter product then you got a smaller size for free and then I bought this little pump separately because I just have it sitting in the shower but this stuff has been perfecting perfecting my washing goes I've been loving it 
So you guys, the Chicago Film Festival is currently showing in Chicago. It usually lasts, I think, for about a month or a month and a half or something. So it's the International Film Festival and I love it because it showcases all these international independent films. And I love independent films. Like, I love watching movies like with subtitles and just international films are just really cool to me and they always have a really good variety so documentaries and then they have it from all over Central America Europe Africa so Tom and I got tickets for this one for Akeem this is a documentary and then we also got tickets for another one I might have passed it but if you're in the Chicago area or if you're planning to come to Chicago check out the International Film Festival you will not be disappointed it's a really cool like experience uh, so I wanted to show you guys how the soup turned out um, it's pretty thin not very thick those green things you see are the poblano peppers you can see the chunks of garlic and then the tomato um, soup obviously but I've been eating it and it's pretty tasty. I in like I enjoyed it and Boo Boo said he liked it too. It's good. Yeah. So I'm gonna finish enjoying this bowl of delicious soup. Mm. What are you doing with your life, Boo Boo? Just doing a little shopping, you know, me and the Boo Boo's. Doing a little shopping. <laughs> For some glasses. Yeah. These these are falling apart here. They're a little rick rickety. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, checking checking out some some new ones. Plus, my I think insurance starts again soon, so uh, I get like a free pair of glasses every year. Nice. Every year? I think so. That's cool. Yeah. So you want some? Oh, those are nice. Those, those glass frames. These guys. Or the ones where it's just not all the way around. Yeah. It's like half clear, half. Oh, those are interesting. They mm -hmm. look like they'll probably like float on your face or something. Oh, I like that color too. Oh yeah, that's a nice little tortoise. 46, a little big, a little big for me. You already know your dimensions? I don't know them exactly, but I think 145 is too long. Mm -hmm. 46 is pretty good for me. 23 is a little wide. What's up, guys? Hey. So, it is about that time. What is it, like 9 o'clock? It was like 9.30. Like 9.30. And we are in bed. Wanted to close out the vlog properly for you guys. And to thank you guys for watching. Um, Vlogtober, day number two in the books. <laughs> Damn right. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, anything you want to say, babe? No, um, this stuff's really good. <laughs> what kind of ice cream it's is that? Ca cashew milk, non-dairy frozen dessert. Yeah. You turned me on to it. Snickerdoodle. Yeah. Check it out. By So Delicious brand. Yeah, So Delicious, yeah. Yeah, it's really good stuff. If it's a good dairy alternative if you're if you're like lactose intolerant or something. Anywho, like I was saying, hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um and yeah, I, I'm at a loss for words. I guess I'm a <laughs> little tired. But you guys know what to do. If you enjoy the vlog, give it a big thumbs up because <laughs> it really does help the channel subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell that way you get notifications from us every time we upload you don't want to miss a thing right that's right <laughs> all right guys so we will see you tomorrow bye good night